Shalom Amakim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah. And a sincere piece of salutation to all you hopeful to let I get him out there pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah has commanded you to, commanded you to do. Salaki. So he can wake up and seal the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and you Israelites who are scattered amongst the heathen nations that may look like the heathen nations, but your father's seed line goes back to you being a so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American. Shalom. It's your brother Halaki from the GMS Colorado camp coming back once again through the spirit of Pavi Habashim Yahushah with another video. And this time I wanted to do another installment of By Faith and Not By Sight. So we're going to start with this uh, 2 Corinthians 5 and 7. For we walk by faith and not by sight. And that's exactly what we're doing on this walk, man. We're walking by faith and not by sight. The things that the Most High has promised us, we can't see them. You know what I'm saying? We haven't seen none of these things the Most High has promised, but we know that they're going to pass. They're going to come to pass. And how do we know that? Through our faith. That's why it also tells you in uh, Hebrews, you know, just... Going into what the Most High said, man, because that's what we, that's what we rest upon, man. We rest upon what the Most High has promised us, man. We rest upon the words in these scriptures, knowing that the Most High doesn't lie. If He says something, He's gonna do it for us, man, as He's promised to do. And we believe all that through our what? Through our faith. You see that? So Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, and that's what we have, man. And that has been gifted unto us by Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shana. Get that next, Lord willing. So we're living off faith, man. We're walking by faith, man. By things that uh, we're, we're believing in things that we can't see. Knowing and understanding that they will come to pass, man, as the Most High said. You see? Let's jump down to verse 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. And that's why we are here making our bodies a living sacrifice for the Most High. Showing our diligence to do what? To make our calling and election sure. You see? And we're, we're doing all that through our what? Through our faith, man. That's how we're living out here. Walking this uh, straight gate for Yahweh Hashem Yahweh You know? Knowing that he's promised to give us a reward if we can continue to diligently seek and search after him. Man. As, we, uh, as long as we continue to diligently walk in his way. You see? The fuck is you looking at Esau? God damn. I'm sick of these motherfuckers, man. You see? So I bring out all bring out bring out all that to say the Lord's servants are going to eat, man. Going off of uh and this is inspired by the uh elder brother from New York, uh GMS Watchman, man. Cause he just did a video I was just watching a video of his about Jake not having no faith concerning this mark of the beast. Jake asking questions about when they come with the vaccination and the chip and we don't take it and we can't eat, what do we do then, man? You live off faith knowing that the Heavenly Father has promised that he was going to take care of his servants, man. You see? And that shows you uh, the difference between us who truly believe in this truth and them who are playing around and, and taking this for a joke, man. Now now it's, now it's, now it's getting, down, getting down to crunch time. And Jake is now asking questions about how we're going to be fed. When the scriptures tell you exactly how we're going to be fed, man. And that's what I want to get into. And we're believing all this through our faith, man. This precious gift that have been given unto us from the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, man. I want to get uh, two more before I start on, before I go on. Let's get, uh, matter of fact, let's do this. Romans 1 and uh, 17. Matter of fact, Habakkuk 2 and 4. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. Talking about Esau, Edom, the damn devil, the so-called white man. This man has a perverse fucking spirit in him, man. You see, and that's why the earth is engulfed in perverseness, man. Because of the uh, the wicked rulers, man. But we we not getting on Esau right now. So he Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 4. But, the, but his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. But the just shall live by faith and that's exactly what we're living in man living on we're living by our faith we're not putting no trust in no carnal things that we can do physically we're not putting no trust in no fucking uh uh carnal weapons we're not putting no trust in storing up food now it's wise to have food but to put your whole trust in that 
it's foolish, man, because what? You might end up somewhere where you can't even get to the food. Now what do you do? You live by faith, knowing that the most I've been feeding your ass this whole time. And when all hell break loose, it ain't going to change, man. And that's what the most High has promised us. Romans 1 and 17. For their end. Come, I'm going to have to get all these. Romans 1 and 17 called Law Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. For their end is. For therein is the righteousness of the Most High revealed from faith to faith. You see, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. You see, that's how the just is going to live, man. That's how the elect is going to live, man. Out here living on the faith that has been given unto us from the Heavenly Father. You see, Galatians 3 and 11. But no man is justified by the law in the sight of the Most High. You see that? We're not justified by the law, man. What are we justified by? It is evident for the just shall live by faith. That's what we justified in our faith in Yahweh Shah. You see? Our faith in the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Our faith that the Most High is going to take care of us. That's what justifies us, man. Just like Abraham was justified in the sight of the Most High because what? He believed in what the Most High said, man. And it was accounted unto him for righteousness because what? He had faith. You see? He had faith in what the Most High said. And that's how we're moving, man. Especially right now. Shit, the whole time we've been moving like that. And it's growing, man. That mustard seed the Most High gave us when we first came into this truth, that small grain of mustard seed of faith the Most High gave us is growing and is starting to flourish even more the closer we get to the end of this thing, man. You see? That's what's happening. You see, we're growing in boldness. We're growing in our confidence. We're growing in our assurance in the things the Most High has promised us, man. And that's all through what? Our faith, man. This precious gift that has been given unto us from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Hebrews 10 and 38. Now the just shall live by faith. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. And why And why would a man draw back? Because he has no faith. And man, the Apostle Hart said something yesterday. He had me so vexed in the spirit, man. He was like, some dudes is just going to tap out and just be like, well, I'm going to be good in the kingdom of heaven. So I'm going to just take the chip and this. And that. Man, that shit had me so pissed off in the spirit. Why would you, why would you even have that type of mind, mindset, man? And that shit had me vexed for a few hours. I was thinking, I'm like, damn, why would you have? Why would you even have that type of mindset of, oh yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be good in the kingdom, so I'm gonna just take the chip and just, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be destroyed, but still, I'm gonna be able to. Hell nah, man. That's a whack ass spirit to be in, man. We out here moving in favor. We gonna do it. We gonna go all the way, man. We trying to go all the way. We trying to be down the first domain. I want to see the first brick of the kingdom of heaven laid by the damn Edomite, man. You see? I want to see that. I want to be there for that, man. I want. I want to. I want to receive that crown from Yahweh Shai's hand, man. You see. So we're not finna draw back, Lord willing. We're gonna continue on with this faith that the Most High has given us and, and blessed us with, and we're gonna continue to fight, even if it means we have to perish from this uh this body, man. Knowing and understanding that what we're gonna be changed and translated into that that spiritual body, man, to be to be raised up first with Yahweh Shai. To come back with our Lord and Savior, man. And we're doing all this through our what? Through our faith, man. Because we walk by faith and not by sight, man. You see? Man, when the Apostle Hart said that, I, 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 when, I'm with, when the video went off, I was just thinking, I'm like, damn. That's a whack-ass fucking spirit, man. That is a whack spirit to be in. I'm a, well, I'm going I'm to I'm uh, just take the chill. I'm going to be destroyed, but I'll be good in the kingdom. Because I'm a, it's, man, that's whack as hell, man. We're not even having them type of thoughts over here, man. We we looking to the, the, the finish this race, man, through the spirit of power Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So back to the topic. Going into faith, man, we're gonna be fed in those times, man. And let's get a few scriptures on that. Let's jo let's go to Job 5 real quick. Cause there's a few places where the most I says this, man. Job 5. Man, that shit had me so vexed. Oh my goodness. I was like, that's that's fucking wackish. That's wacky shit. <laughs> you know? Let me see. Where we at? Uh Is it Joel 5? Yep, Joel 5. So, this is Joel 5 and 19. He shall deliver thee in six troubles, yea, in seven there shall no evil touch thee. This is promised by the Most High when all hell is breaking loose. Says no evil is going to touch us. Now, we're going to go through hell. We're going to get, we're going to go uh, uh, through trials and tribulations, but it's not for us to be destroyed, man. 
is for us to be pur purged and proved by the Most High, man. Our faith is being tried. That's what we have to understand. Everything that we're about to go through in these times to come is, is a test of our faith, man. Two-thirds is about to go through it. They about to go through it to get destroyed. See, we're not in that light, man. Lord willing. Let me say that. Lord willing, we're not in that light. You know? But it says, what? Well, he shall deliver thee in six trouble, yea, in seven that shall no evil touch thee. And that's going into what? The seven trouble is what? When the missiles come. Right? Now, verse 20. In famine, he shall redeem thee from death. And in war from the power of sword. You see that? The Most High is going to redeem us in famine. Meaning what? He's going to feed us. He's going to take care of us. So we have to take, we, we don't have to take thought of how we're going to eat in these times, man. Let all these different scenarios run through your mind, man. You got all these damn Edomites. All these preppers put it, uh, putting up all this food, storing all this food away. Putting their trust wholly in that. Not knowing that when all hell break loose, they can be thousands of miles away. They can be hundreds of miles away. They can be tossed into a FEMA camp to never even get to that food. That food has just been stored up for the elect man of the Lord, man. That's the way the most I can feed you. Just like he fed Elijah. How did he feed Elijah? He had the ravens bring him food, man. You see? It's, it's, it's countless ways the most I can feed you. Look at uh how the most I took Habakkuk. <laughs> he took Habakkuk to feed Daniel in the lion's den, man. I think it was Habakkuk, if I ain't mistaken. You see, he took a prophet to feed another prophet, man. It's, it's countless ways that the most I can feed you. He can, he, can, he can take a brother from New York to send him to feed a brother in California, man. However the most I see is fit, his man is going to be redeemed for famine, man. You see? Verse 19. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue. Neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. Because the most High is about to pour a heavy spirit upon his servants, man. A heavy, a heavy, heavy spirit of just walking in boldness in the most high, man. Just, just a confident spirit, man. You know? You see, not, not to be worried about any of these things that come, man. You see? At destruction, uh, Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue, and thou shalt not be afraid when destruction of, of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. You see that? Why are we going to laugh at the destruction and famine? Because the Most High is going to take care of us, man. We're going to be good, Lord willing. We are those servants, man. These are things the Most High has promised us, and we're, we're, and we're counting on this because of what? Our faith, man. The Most High has promised these things, and that's what we're investing in, man. We're, we, we're, we're wholeheartedly believing that the Most High is going to uh, feed us and take care of us in this great time of trouble that we're coming into, and we're believing all that through our faith, man. You see? That's the only thing that's keeping us pushing the faith that we have in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, man. You see? So at destruction and famine thou shalt laugh, neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. You see that? The Most High is going to take care of us in famine as he's promised, man. Let's get Psalms 91. Psalms 91. I thought it was Psalms 91. If I ain't mistaken. It might not have been Psalms. I might be thinking something, something else. All right, cool. So it wasn't Psalms 91. So let's go to Isaiah, man. Isaiah 65. Let's start at 12. Isaiah 65 and 12. Therefore will I number you to the sword, and you shall bow down to the, you shall all bow down to the slaughter, because when I call you did not answer, when I spake you did not hear, but you did evil before mine eyes and did choose that way and not delighted not. And who is the Most High talking to with this verse? He's talking to two thirds of Israel, man. You see, those who refuse to take heed to his word, those who refuse to hearken and come back to the understanding that they are the Israelites, that Yahweh Hashem is their God, that Yahweh Hashem is their Savior, man. They refused it, man. They refused the ways of wisdom, man, to continue on in the ways of darkness and continue on in the ways of uh, wickedness, man. You see, so the Most High is going to destroy them. That's what this Jacob's trouble is mainly for, the wicked two-thirds of our people. Yeah, we're going to be in it. We're going to have to catch hell. But like I said before, it's for us to be for us to be tried, for us to be proved, man. Then it goes down to verse 13 and tells you what? Isaiah 65 and 13. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, 
but ye shall be ashamed. That's the most I'm telling you that the ser that his servants, those who have been diligently serving him on the highways and byways each and every week, doing these videos each and every day, man, reading, fasting, praying, studying, doing all the things necessary to continue to be hydrated in the spirit, to continue to be fed in the spirit, man, walking in his ways, man, cutting off that old man. You see, that's what we're doing to serve the Lord. And he said, what? His servants are going to eat. That's a promise, man. That is a promise. You see? But two-thirds going to be out here hungry, man. Starving. The most I going to starve these niggas out. My servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. The, the, the servants of the Lord are going to drink. You see? But two-thirds of Israel, they're going to be thirsty, man. They're going to be dying of thirst out here. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. And that's what we're going to do, man. Because we know it's all coming from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, man. We are going to rejoice in that day. And two-thirds is going to be made ashamed, man. You see? And we believe all this through our what? Through our faith, man. Through the faith that the Most High has given unto us, man. Matter of fact, let me get that real, let me get that real quick. Let's faith. Yeah. Ephesians 2 and 8. For by grace are ye saved through faith. You see that? We're saved through our faith, man. And that not of yourselves, it is a gift of the Most High. So the faith that we have wasn't even given, uh, wasn't even of us, man. It was given unto us from the Most High. It was given to us as a seed. The Most High planted that in us, man. Gave us that gift. You see, and we're being watered by where this word and that seed is flourishing, man. All through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. So going back, Isaiah 14, uh, Isaiah 65 and 14. Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart and howl for vexation of spirit. And why is two-thirds going to haul for vexation of spirit? Because they have no answers. They have no hope. They have no faith. They can't see the light at the end of the tunnel like we can, man. You see? So they're just going to be left out here to their own devices and those ways they chose to walk in, but the servants of the Heavenly Father chose to walk in wisdom. And and because we we because we chose to do that through the Spirit and power, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, He's going to take care of us. Lord willing, we be a part of that number. You see? That's what the Most High has promised, man, and we know He don't lie. I'm going to get that as well, man. Isaiah, uh, let me go to a pocket. Second Ezra, chapter 2. This ain't got to be too long, man. Get a few more and wrap it up. Second Ezra, chapter 2. And 2. Oh, no. Second Ezra, 2 and, uh. Ooh, yeah. Yep. Second Ezra, chapter 2, verse 26. As for the servants whom I have given thee, which is who? The elect, there shall not one of them perish. I will require them from among thy number. Be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaven is cometh, which we're fastly approaching, we're at the doors of it. You see, they're, they're, creak, they're creaking open right now. You see? Others shall weep and be sorrowful. Who is that talking about? The, the, the two-thirds of our people and the rest of the heathen, man. They're going to weep and be sorrowful. But thou shalt be merry and have abundance. You see that? The servants of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah is going to be merry and have abundance. That's the same thing it said in Isaiah 65, man. So we don't have to worry about not taking the vaccine, man. About what's going to happen if we don't take the vaccine. And what's going to happen if we don't take the chip. The most I told us, don't worry about that. Just don't take it. You see? And you're going to be taken care of, man. The Most High is going to take care of you. We don't need shit from Esau, man. We don't need a damn thing from these fucking heathen, man. The Most High has always given us everything that we've needed. Everything, man, since the beginning. You see? We don't need a damn thing from the Edomite, man. We don't need his vaccination. We don't need his chip, man. The Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah is going to take care of us. He's going to feed us. He's going to clothe us. He's going to give us water to drink. He's going to give us uh, shelter, man. He's going to do all these things as he's promised. As we're reading, man, and we believe all that through our what? Through our faith. Because we walk by faith and not by sight, man. You see? Call Halal Yomla, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah. 2 Ezra chapter 2 and 27. Be not weary, for when the day of trouble in heaven is cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful. But thou shalt be merry and have abundance. 
whenever the most high sees fit, however it may be, the most high might put us through some trials. We pass that test. You know, it might be, you know what I'm saying? It might be smooth selling. He give us abundance of food, water, shelter, or whatever it may be. However the most high sees fit, it's going to happen, man. You see, it's going to happen as he's promised, man. These are promises made by the most high. And we, and we putting all our money on uh, the words of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah coming to pass. You see? So it says in verse 28, the heathen shall envy thee. The heathen shall envy thee. And that includes two-thirds of our people. But they shall be able to do nothing against thee, say if Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Why is that? Because the Most High is going to take care of us, man. Lord willing, we be a part of that number. You see? My hand shall cover thee, so that thy children shall not see hell. Meaning what? We're going to be protected. We're going to be ducked off somewhere, man. But we have to go through that tribulation. We know we know that must happen, man. So this might happen after the, after we go through the tribulation. We, we uh, the Most High, prove us, and we found we, we be found worthy, you see, of the of the high about Shem Yahweh He just might, you know what I'm saying? Let us go off somewhere and just 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 chill out for a minute, be taken care of, eat, you know what I'm saying? Just 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 sit down because we went through the trials and tribulations, we passed all the tests through His Spirit and power, man. You know, He proved our faith, and we stood bold, bold and firm in Him, and He just, you know what I'm saying? Just take care of us, man. How, like I said, it's, it's all according to the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. It's all through the, it's, it's all through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So let's get what Yahweh Shah said, man. Because Yahweh Shah even told us not to worry about this, man. Uh, what was it? Uh, I think that's Matthew 19. If I ain't mistaken. Matthew 19. Let me see. Uh, let me see. Uh, it's like Matthew 6. It's so like it. Matthew 6 and 25. Let me see. Yep. Matthew 6 and 25. This is the words of Yahweh Shah, man, our Lord and Savior. Red letter, right? So it says, Matthew 6 and 25. Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, nor yet for the body, for your body, what ye shall put on. Is not the life more than meat and the body than raiment? Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? And we are, man. You see. Because when you understand that we 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 if we are we if we are of that number we help Yahweh Shai create the fires of the heaven man, so we are way better than them, you see, verse twenty seven, which of you by taking thought can add one cubit unto his stature, and it, and why take ye thought for raiment, consider the lilies of the field how they grow. They toil not neither do they spin, and yet I say unto you. That even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if the Most High so clothe the grass of the field, which is today, which today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe ye, clothe you, O ye a little faith? So everything we need, the Most High is gonna give it unto us, man. You see, verse thirty-one. Therefore, take no thought, saying, What shall what shall we eat, or what shall we drink? Or wherewithal shall we be clothed? For all these things do the Gentiles seek. Because what? They don't have faith. That's why they out here storing up food, man. Putting their more money and investing in uh hundreds of thousands of dollars and, and uh what they, what do they call them shit? Doomsday bunkers, man. Storing up fucking six years of food, seven years of food, ten years of food, not knowing that it's all up to the most high if you even be able to touch that food, man. You could be the most I can have you spending all that money to store that food for his men. You see? So that's something we don't have to take thought of, man. They are there storing up clothes, storing up all that first aid kits, all that stuff, man. All that can be stored up for the men of the Lord, man. You know? So going on. Uh verse 32. Uh, verse 32, for, all, for after all these things do the uh, Gentiles seek, for your heavenly Father knoweth that ye need 
that ye have need of all these things. The most I know we need to eat, man. He know we need water. He know we need clothes, man. We just have to keep the faith. And then it says what? Verse 33, but seek ye first the kingdom of the most high and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you, man. Just continue in the faith. Continue to endure the trials and tribulations. And everything is going to be bestowed upon us, man. Seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High, and he's going to take care of us, man. The Most High is going to take care of all the rest. When you start worrying about what if this and what if that, you see, you, 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 you. Look at that 144 call, Lord. You start, it, it, it starts to get uh, muddy, man. But like the scriptures say, cast all your cares upon the Most High because he has care for you, man. We don't have to worry about what we're going to do if we don't take the chip. You see? If we, if we if we deny the vaccine and all that BS that Esau is coming with, because we know the most I told us we're gonna be taken care of, man. You see, and we and we're moving on, we're moving on our faith in that, man. So verse thirty four, take take thought, slot, take therefore no thought for tomorrow, for the morrow shall take thought for for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof, man. You know what I'm saying? So the most High is gonna take care of us, man, as He's promised to do. The most High has promised us to take. To, to take care of us and that we was going to eat We was going to be uh, uh, taken care of in these times of trouble man So yeah we're going to refuse Esau Mark of the Beast Because we know the Most High is going to take care of us man And Lord willing the Most High keeps the spirit upon us To refuse that Mark of the Beast man So let's go to Numbers 23 and 19 man Like I said one of my favorite scriptures man Numbers 23 and 19 The Most High is not a man that he should lie Neither the son of man that he should repent Have he said and shall he not do it or have he spoken and shall he not make it good? So the Most High said he was going to feed his servants in these times of trouble. He said these things. Is the Most High lying? No, he's not, man. You see? He's going to bring all that to pass. And we and we know that by our faith, man. We believe that by our faith because what? We walk by faith and not by sight, man. You see? So, Lord willing, that was edifying and uh, exhorting, you know? We don't have to worry about these small things, man. The Most High is in control of all things and he's going to take care of his servants, man. All we need to do is continue to focus on serving the Lord and continue to push push uh, forth this word as long as the most I allow us to do it. And when all hell break loose, man, just keep the faith in the Lord and everything's gonna be everything is gonna work out, man. Everything is gonna work out through the spirit and power of your high shot. Lord willing we be a part of that number. So with that, I'm gonna give all praises, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rikakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. And a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopefully let I came out there pushing this word in all truth and sincerity doing the work as Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah has commanded you to do. With that, I'm going to say Shalom Wa Ba Ba Ba.